We have broke ground. We have the builders there building the catio. And there we have it. He dug the hole right here. There are the poles they're in. They're getting all the poles in. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So me and Alfie are having an absolutely amazing day. Isn't that right? Tell them you're having such a great day so far. Now guys, you are not going to believe what is happening at my property down in Homestead right now. We have broke ground. We have the builders there building the catio. Now I have always dreamed of having a ginormous catio for my Bengal cats and I didn't think my dream would come true. They've actually already started. They're digging the holes. We got the wood. We got the panels and it only should take a couple days to build this catio. Now it's honestly amazing to be able to provide my Bengal cats with such a beautiful indoor and outdoor enclosure. My Bengals are absolutely crazy. They love the outdoors so this enclosure is going to be absolutely amazing for them. They're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it and I can't wait to see the reaction once the enclosure is finally done. But me and I Alfie have some very exciting news. The Bengal kittens have finally opened their eyes. Now, if you all have been following the channel, you'll know not only Nala had kittens, but Nova had a kitten as well. So without further ado, we're gonna hop straight into today's video and check on the Bengal kittens. So we're in the first kitty room with Nala and her three kittens, and we have to be very quiet. We have some sleepy nursey kittens. But mommy just got up. Hi, mommy. So mommy always gets up when we get in here. She always wants love, but look at her little babies. These little guys were just nursing and their eyes are completely wide open. Now these little babies just hit three weeks old on Friday and you can see we have some cute little sleeping babies and just look at their rosette pattern. You can see these babies are absolutely adorable. So we have two little babies with rosette patterns, this one and this one right here. And then we have a marble little kitty right here that actually has stripes going down her back. So this little baby is wide awake and her little sister is crawling on top of her. So she should be awake any minute now. But look at that little face, hi. Oh my goodness, guys. This is kitty love. I don't know what's cuter. Let's pick up a little baby right here and say hello. We're gonna pick up your little baby, mommy. Hi, oh my goodness, look at that little spotted belly. So you can see mama's always on alert with her little kittens. You can see she never leaves her side. Oh my goodness, you, you are so loud. Okay, we'll put you down. So we're gonna put the first little kitty down right here. We're gonna look at your second kitty, mom. We always have to check on your kitties to make sure they're doing good, they seem healthy, and these babies are growing strong every day. I mean, look at that little belly. Look at your little belly. Oh my goodness. So you can see this little guy's marble pattern and how he just has these two stripes running down her back. She is absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna put her down too. Mommy, mommy really wants you. And we're gonna pick up this last little sleeping baby. Now this one has to be my favorite. She is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at those patterns. You are to die for, my goodness. Look at that little face right here. Now guys, with these little three kittens, we've already found out what gender they are. Now these little three babies are three females. Now believe it or not, we have all females. So Nala has three females and Nova has a female as well. And these babies are absolutely adorable. So you can see this baby is trying to walk around right now, but he's very wobbly and very unstable. But that's that's exactly how they are at three weeks old. These babies are learning how to walk, learning their surroundings, and getting used to everything around them. So introducing them to people, loud sounds, is exactly what we want for these little babies. So they're not scared, and they're used to it when they're older, but you can see, I think this little guy is looking for a nipple right now, or he's trying to go to sleep. So we're, we're just gonna take you right here. We're gonna put you with mom because we can see that these two babies are still nursing right here. Now these babies are only three weeks old so they are still nursing and in about a week and a half, they should start trying some soft food. So I'm very, very excited for that because not only are they gonna be starting soft food, but they're actually gonna be starting to use the bathroom on their own. So mommy kitty is not gonna to have to stimulate them anymore. How do, you, how do you feel about that? That your babies are getting so big so fast. So with Nala's three little babies right here, we've actually been calling them the three stooges. So we have one stooge right here, we have two, and we have three. So these are the three stooges, and we are going to be heading into Nova's room right now. So we're gonna let mama do her thing, we're gonna let mama nurse her little babies, and we're gonna go check on Nova. 
Hello, Miss Nova. So we have Miss Nova right here, and she loves all of the pets and all of the scratches. Look at this. Oh my goodness, but guys, do you hear that? We have a crying little baby right here. Now her baby just turned a week old a couple days ago, and this little girl is absolutely adorable. Now she is going to be opening her eyes very, very soon because I can already see the fluid coming out of the corners of her eyes. But let's take a look at this little baby right here. Oh my goodness look at this little one your baby is absolutely adorable but get can you stop showing the spotlight we we all came here for one thing to so see the baby and of course give you love so let's see this baby right here now since nova only had one baby this little girl is fat she's very very fat she's plump mama's feeding her good and she is doing an absolutely amazing job but can we can we see your baby you, you, i can't i can't even see your baby with you rubbing on over me let's pick this little girl up right here oh my goodness let's see hello so you can see this little girl still has her eyes closed but you're not going to be able to see it she's starting to open her eyes just a little bit so in a couple days she should be opening her eyes but we're going to put her down right here and take a look at her pattern look at that so she has the rosettes as well this girl is absolutely adorable and you can see she just has a fat plump belly which is absolutely amazing for a little growing kitten so we're gonna leave you with mommy because mommy's very worried that i picked you up and look at that the mommy instincts are here as soon as i put her baby down she immediately lays down to nurse this little guy so we're gonna put we're gonna put her right here there you go now, now I'll let you be so you can nurse this little baby and, and make her grow nice and strong, all right? So as mama nurses her little baby, we're gonna pick a name and I only thought one name was very, very fitting. If you all follow the channel, you all know that Mama Nova gave birth to two little babies. She gave birth to this one, which is the first little baby she had, and she gave birth to a stillborn that was very underdeveloped. So I think the only fitting name for this little girl right here is Lucky because it was literally a mission when Nova was giving birth, this baby almost didn't make it as well. The sack broke, this little baby was not coming out and it took quite some time to get this little girl out. So I only thought the perfect name would be lucky because this little girl is very, very lucky to be alive, to be here with us today. And she is growing so, so strong every single day. So we're gonna let mama do her thing. We're gonna let you nurse your little baby. Yes, isn't that right? Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, you gotta, you gotta lay down. Yes, nurse that little baby. Look at these two. She's making bread in the air. She absolutely loves mama life right here. Now that you got to see Nala, now you got to see Nova and her growing little baby Lucky. We're just gonna hop straight into today's video and check out the progress on their cat enclosure all right so we just arrived with little alfie man alfie are you excited are you excited to see mommy's new home alfie's very excited to be here but he's also very very scared there's a lot of noises here now guys i don't know if you could see how many cars are here but there's a lot of cars because there are a lot of workers and it's always something exciting and never a dull day down here in sunny south florida now guys not only do we have the people installing the glass in my showers we also have people ripping up some stuff on my patio we have planters in the backyard planting some soil where they just put the beautiful plants around my property and the most exciting part of all guys is we have the workers in the back working on my catio yes you heard me correctly we have started the work on my catio we have broke ground they're actually digging the holes as we speak we got the wood cut out we got the panels and alfie man you want to say hello are you interested in the camera so guys i think me and alfie we're gonna head to the back and check their progress and the panels are arriving so guys if you take a look at the back of the trailer right there you can see this is the panels for the enclosure the enclosures over here the panels are here my dad has just arrived at the panels so this is literally going to be surrounding the entire cage we're gonna have the wood posts and we're gonna have the panels so you can see my dad's backing up he is going to be unloading all of these panels and they are going to be setting it up guys i'm so excited to see how it turns out so we're gonna go give him a hand so guys it's going to be very hard to hear me but the work is coming along just amazing they're starting our catio the cat enclosure so we got the shed set up right here and they are starting to work so you can see they are drilling the holes into the ground to put these wood posts right here and i don't know if you guys can see all of these little flags are going to be exactly where the posts are and this area right here one two three and four are going to be the double door entry so we're going to have a door in the front you're going to be able to step in and then another door and then you can walk into the enclosure but all of the kitties get this entire area right here the amazing enclosure. I'm very, very excited to be able to build these things and be able to
able to provide all of this just for my Bengal kitties. My Bengal kitties are absolutely going to love it. And I can't wait to bring you guys along for the ride to build these enclosures, build my ginormous dream home with my amazing animals. Guys, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So I just want to say thank you for every single one of you that has stuck along with me from the beginning, guys. I just wouldn't be here without you. And we broke ground, guys. You can see it's very hard to hear me, but they're digging real deep into the ground. They're measuring it, and then they're putting the poles in. So these guys are putting the poles in, and there we have it. He dug the hole right here. So we have about three or four holes dug up completely. You can see he just keeps going and keeps digging it, making sure it's the perfect depth to put these poles in. Now let's walk around right here and get a better look. It is time to get everything ready to get our panels up, to get our wood up, so you can see it is not even right now, but once they get the poles up, once they dig the holes, they're gonna put the poles in. We actually have concrete right here, so they're gonna be pouring concrete into the hole to keep the pole completely straight. You can see they're doing this with every single hole right now. So we have one, two, and then three, four. He's working on the fifth hole right now. So we're gonna get all the poles up, and then we're gonna start putting the panels. Guys, we have made some amazing progress. So if you look behind me, yes, that is correct. There are the poles, they're in. They're getting all the poles in right here. We have about three poles left. But you can see some of the poles are straight and some of them are tilted. So the ones that are straight, like this one right here, is actually cemented into the ground. They take a three foot hole. So if you take a look right here, let's look at this hole, guys. Oh my goodness, you can't even see it. Literally, it's pitch black. It looks like this hole would run a mile, but you can see this hole is three feet deep. Then they put the poles in, they put the cement in to make sure that the poles are nice and secure. And this is a 13 foot pole. Believe it or not, this enclosure is going to be 13 feet tall and they're actually gonna be cutting a foot off of the top. So then it's going to be 12 feet. So we're gonna have a 12 foot enclosure and this is how it's going to be. So they got a couple more poles to put in. They're doing the cement. They're doing an absolutely amazing job. Now let's take a look so you can see this pole is completely cemented in. It's literally not going anywhere. It's really, it's really in there, guys. And this is the one that's not cemented in. So you can see it's just hanging out in the hole. So they got it completely cemented. Make sure the pole is nice and sturdy, nice and straight. And so guys, we're gonna let them do their thing and check on them in a little. All right, so we've made some amazing progress. You can see we've got all of the top panels in right here. Now you can really see just how tall this enclosure is. This enclosure is 12 feet tall. I mean, guys, this is a dream enclosure for any cat, I would say. And now you can see we're measuring the bottom pieces right here, getting all the bottom logs in, and then we're gonna be putting the panels in. Now we've made some amazing progress, but we are far, far, far from being done. But guys, that's going to end today's video. Now guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, comment down below what you guys wanna see in this ginormous catio and guys if you want to see this cage completely finished and you want to see what my bangle think of their new giant outdoor catio well all you have to do is subscribe to my channel in the link down below